Welcome back. As Nightmare Vermont enters its 18th season, offering spooks and scares to Vermonters during Halloween time, they're prioritizing safety and consent. Here to tell us more about that is Jana Beagley, head of Nightmare Vermont since its inception. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So happy to be here. So first, talk about this development. How is this year different than in years past for Nightmare Vermont? Oh, well, actually, we've been continuing uh, many traditions of uh, using consent-based practices in haunting um, in order to ensure that people stay in control of their experience because a lot of the research into why people seek out thrilling experiences um, is because it gives them a wonderful psychological boost um, in terms of what they can handle um, and in terms of feeling accomplished that they went through something that was kind of scary. But that can all be ruined if people feel overwhelmed and out of control. So we have implemented many different practices over the years um, to give people control over their experience so that they can go through our very thrilling haunted house and always feel that they are in control of how much they get scared. So what are some of the practices that Nightmare Vermont uses? So first off, um, before you even buy your tickets, you can look through our trigger warnings page. If you have a phobia or certain content that really bothers you, you can check out the trigger warnings page and see if any of that content is going to be in this year's show. Since we create the show from scratch every year, um, every show is different. So um, if you have particular sensitivities, you can check that out. We also offer customized experiences. So if you're a bit of a scaredy cat and and you don't like people up in your personal space, um, you can get one of our ghost wards for just a dollar and those let all of the people in the haunted house know that you would like to keep your personal space. You don't want anything gross too near to you um, and you don't want anyone um, in your personal space. Um, so basically you can just go to enjoy the suffering of others, which is always fun. Um, we also have um, safe words in the, in the haunt. So if you say the word safe word, anywhere in Nightmare Vermont, the action will stop and will lead you right out. So if people do get overwhelmed, they can make the haunt stop for them and get led out of the haunt. Um, when you uh, call safe word, you can choose to rejoin your group if you find yourself uh, just needing to skip a certain section of it, or you can just opt out entirely. And what's been the reaction from people? Do, do a lot of people take advantage of these things or do most people who are going to a haunted experience kind of expect that they might be, you know, pushed a little bit psychologically? Well, most people go through um, kind of the, the standard way you would go through a haunted house. Um, we have had folks who check the trigger warnings because they happen to have a clown phobia. Um, and some years we have clowns and some years we don't. Um, we do have quite a, quite a number of people getting the ghost words, uh, the ghost wards. Um, and sometimes they're really proud of themselves and take it off um, about halfway through because they feel like they can handle things. And then they feel really accomplished afterwards and they come back. And that's the important thing. Um, I love haunted houses with all of my heart. And it always struck me as so tragic that people would have a bad experience at a haunted house that they couldn't control, where they were overwhelmed and they couldn't make it stop. And then they don't ever want to come back. And haunted houses are fun. So I would rather have a scaredy cat go and be in control of their experience and come back again the next year feeling braver. And so tell us about this event that you have on Wednesday evening. Yes, um, we started putting together um, public workshops um, for anyone who might be interested in volunteering. And the workshop this Wednesday held at the Champlain Valley Exposition at the grandstand where the haunted house is going to be held um, is called Effective Scaring. And it's for anyone who's ever been interested in um, pulling off effective scares that really make people jump and really make people squeal. Um, and we give you a whole bunch of tips and tricks that we expect you to be able to use if you're a scare actor in the haunted house and are just fun to know for various reasons. And we will have more information about that on our website so people have time to check it out for tomorrow. Jenna, thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much. I love talking about spooky season. Welcome to October.